1929, Edwin Hubble demonstrated a correlation between the distance to galaxies and the redshift of their electromagnetic spectrum. Others theorized that the redshift of light from distant galaxies represented Doppler recession and calculated that the universe was expanding as a result of a Big Bang explosion of a gravitational singularity about 13.8 billion years ago. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity allowed for either an expanding or a static universe. When interviewed in 1941, Hubble reported that his observations did not bear out the explosion idea. He stated that the evidence was against it and that the redshift was a complete mystery which greater telescopes may solve. The gravitational standard model of the Big Bang overshadowed the description of a more practical and realistic electromagnetic plasma universe first investigated experimentally in the laboratory at the turn of the century by Kristen Birkeland and later advanced by Hans Alfven, physics Nobel laureate in 1970. Improved telescopic observations across the entire electromagnetic spectrum into the vast distances of the physical cosmos are seriously challenging the century-old gravitational model. The most startling infrared observations of the new James Webb Telescope are fully mature galaxies larger than the Milky Way at a point within a few hundred million years of the imagined Big Bang when the standard model predicts early star formation and embryonic galaxies at best. Equally astounding, the infrared telescope has pierced the dense veil of gas, dust, and plasma that surrounds closer galaxies such as the Phantom Galaxy, revealing details of their geometric spirals. Clearly shown are fractal networks of thin, interwoven electrical filaments giving birth to families of stars along their spiraling arms. X-ray observations demonstrate massive galaxy family clusters connected by currents of Birkeland filaments reaching 50 million light years across the sky that could not possibly have coalesced in the 13.8 billion years since gravitational creation. Moreover, the Webb Telescope has discovered filaments connecting 10 galaxies that existed just 830 million years after the alleged Big Bang. Indeed, a cosmic web consisting of tangled clumps and filaments is observed in every direction surrounding voids of intergalactic space. Although the standard model attributes these structures to invisible dark matter, they are more likely the result of electromagnetic processes. Observational evidence also disproves the existence of gravitational black holes consuming stars at the center of galaxies. Instead, the imaging of radio waves demonstrates that galaxies revolve around colossal electromagnetic plasmoids that power currents of star-making filaments spinning in a disk between their magnificent polar jets of energy. Although our Sun, along with all stars, probably originated from electromagnetic processes, they may exist with internal properties of gravitational fusion. However, multi-spectrum observations demonstrate that the far greater temperatures in the atmosphere above the Sun's surface probably result from the generation of electrical energy caused by its rotation in the surrounding plasma. Collectively, these observations are falsifying the imaginary gravitational mathematical model of universe formation, and they provide evidence of the reality of an electromagnetic plasma universe. There are practical alternative explanations for the redshift in the spectrum of galactic photons as an accurate measure of actual distance traveled, rather than recessionary expansion and for the cosmic microwave background to be naturally produced throughout the intergalactic medium instead of representing the echo of a Big Bang explosion. Revealed is a non-expanding, infinite universe consisting of mother galaxies naturally created by electromagnetic processes within a plasma of hydrogen atoms, naked protons, and free electrons. 
perhaps as early as a hundred billion years ago, our Milky Way galaxy may have originated from a contracture and ionization of clouds of dust caused by the Z-pinch effect, a constriction by circling magnetic fields on the flow of electrical currents through the neutral conducting plasma. We can observe how mother galaxies generate spirals of Birkelin filaments, seeding them with strings of stars to eliminate raw, rare planetary gardens of earth and water capable of producing life with exploring minds and their unique creations. Convincing evidence for an infinite, non-expanding universe is provided by extensive, broad-spectrum observations and by our common sense. Rather than the failed standard mathematical model propped up by serial fantasies and sensational theories of a gravitational singularity, instant inflation, dark matter that holds galaxies together, dark energy that drives them apart, and gravitational black holes that devour them from the inside. A saner solution seems to be a simple, infinite universe of individual living and dying galaxies, constantly renewed by the electromagnetic generation of light, life, and mind. An infinite number of mother galaxies must necessarily generate an infinite quantity of stars with planets of earth and water, which ultimately sprout organic, intelligent life with its fruit of curious, observing, and creative minds. If it is also true that consciousness is a quantum effect of the brains that produce it, and that our minds continue to exist after the death of our physical bodies, self-awareness and universal consciousness must be the dominant factor of cosmic existence. Self-realized and without external creation or judgment, humanity may be able to collectively evolve within the full range of our personal differences to peacefully work together in liberty, to joyfully survive, and to acquire the otherwise unobtainable universal knowledge and wisdom required to travel beyond our solar system, experiencing an infinite cosmic consciousness we may access all that has ever been known.